Hello every morning. It's morning time. It's early. We are in New England right now. We're in Devons, Massachusetts, and it's getting chilly and cold. It was a cold one last night, but you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to do a show on waiting. Look at this. What a mess this is. Well, we got all kinds of crappy grass. We got goldenrod, which is an evasive weed. You, we all know this. It wraps around your trees, grows on the ground. It's bittersweet. This is a mess over here. Look at it. It's like a big giant forest over here. It's a complete mess. I can't do this on my own. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find a crew out there on a day like this. I have no idea who I'm going to find, but I got to get a crew to get this all cleaned all up so they can play on the golf course. This is something that's been overgrown for many, many years. I got to get this all cleared out and I need to find somebody in a crew to get this done. Let's get it. So I think I found the crew. Goatscaping. This might be unbelievable. This actually might work. Let's do it. Okay, so I found the group and we're ready to go. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, so we just got out. She's starving, he's starving, you've already started. We got a lot of work to do over here because these are dailies and you don't want to eat dailies, they're a beautiful flower. So let's go over towards the weeds are that we're supposed to do our job and get this done. Come on guys and girls, let's go. Come on, we got a lot of work to do. Come on, no eating day lilies. Come on. Well, let's get this job done. We only got so many hours to do, so many minutes to do. We're getting paid by the hour. And of course, whew, this is like a carriage of Santa Claus laying here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're coming in here. You're in charge of this side. Listen, you're in charge of this side. I'm in the middle. You're over here. Don't eat the grass. Come on, let's go. Come on. We're getting paid by the hour here. Are we getting paid to do this? Okay. All right, guys, come on and get in there and get right. to work. Let's go. God, I waited Let's so go. much, so many hours to do this, and I got so much to do today. Okay. Should I let the leash go? Yeah, let him go. Okay, guys, get to work. Okay. There you go. I hate to tell you, but that was a lot of work right there. I'm gonna take a quick little break because that was just a chore in itself. You guys. I wanted you over here, but if you got to get to work, do it the most best way you can. Now, now I'm going to tell you people, this is how you get the job done. What a crew we got today. Unbelievable. You're in charge of the right side. Hey, I just want to let you know, you have some beautiful, beautiful horns. Okay. Let's go. Everybody wants to steal the day lilies. So, you see your other brothers over there? What's going on? I, you, you're not awake? Okay. Come on. Come on, you have to be part of this. We're getting paid by the hour. Okay? See, that's how you clear it. Come on. I know, I felt like that this morning, but I got to get to work. Come on. Come on, work. Come on. Come on, I know it's a tough night last night. You must have went out late. All right, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Okay. Let's go, get in there. Okay. Get in there. Okay, one, two, three, four. We got them all. What a workout right there. No break anymore. Now we gotta get it done. I gotta help. So there's so much bittersweet. There's a lot, a lot of weeds. As you can see right now, it's been five minutes. And look at they've cleared this area already. There's always that one person that gets up late in the morning and straggles behind in the pack. Come on. We got a lot of work to do. I know you were out late last night, but we got to clear this area in four hours. Okay, so look at over here. 
We got a good, good, good clearing so far over here. This is unbelievable. This is really, really fun. Well, I'm gonna tell you who's behind all of this. Her name is Charlene. And Charlene comes out and let's go meet her right now. So the workers are down there, which are otherwise goats. And I think they're chilling down there, but they're really eating like anything. This has been less than five minutes and they've cleared. Look at all this. That's some hungry, 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 hungry goats. So, I am with Charlene right now. It took many, many weeks to get this together, but I am so happy that I'm doing this. Welcome to another show with Around the Guy with Jimmy Key. This is, I'm out of breath. This was unbelievable just getting this done, and now they're relaxed, and they're eating. Charlene, this must be so much fun to you to do this, and this is your business. What got you into this? Um, actually, my husband passed away. And a year afterwards, I saw this on the Hampshire Chronicle, and I did some research, and I had a lot of friends that were farmers from, you know, the day they were born, and especially one of them that she passed away this January, but she sold me my first four goats, and um, she set up the fencing for me, and I built out the third bay in my garage into two uh, bays for all of my goats, and it's just that it, it's it was a change it it was that time that in my life to change i was in my late 40s when i was widowed and i was with my husband for 30 years and you know i just needed something different and she taught me everything i know and i love it so working with you this morning and talking with you this morning it seems like you really have a really nice and an unbelievable passion for the outdoors but with these goats yeah and you have a crew today because this is really a huge job right now and they've been working hard over there I don't know if you want to zoom the camera over there they're literally like really really going to town on this and I noticed that there's a lot of poison ivy in here yeah there's poison ivy bittersweets and a lot of invasive plants and they, can you tell us a little bit about why do goats have, well, I, like, how do they do this and why is it that poison ivy and et cetera doesn't bother their system? Or, what, what does a goat have that we can't do? Well, the thing is, is that, that, no, poison ivy does not bother them. But then there's certain plants that <clears throat> you would never think that would bother them. But they have four stomachs. So wow. once they fill, they once they deplete a stomach, if you know what I mean, then peristalsis kicks in and it goes to the next stomach, then the next stomach, and then they can fill it up. That's why they're so hungry. But they don't have teeth. People think that they have teeth. Really? They, I didn't know that. Their whole mouth is molars. Oh, so now when I brought them out, I didn't even check their mouths because I wanted to compare my teeth with yeah, their teeth. because everybody says teeth, but it, they're molars. Okay, so they can really crunch down they like they are. They've got a really, really strong jaw, so when they when they eat, you know, their, their jaw clamps everything down, so they can eat thorns even. Wow. Oh, that's one thing I hate is thorns, rose bushes. So you're saying if you have a really evasive thorn bush, or even like a rose plant that's in the garden and it's just growing wild, you can bring these goats over there and they'll eat that and there'll be no issue at all? Well, the thing is they, they'll, they'll chomp on the greens of the thorns and then that, then I leave it up to the landscapers to chop it down because I'm not a landscaper. I'm in no way, shape or form in competition with landscaping. But so they, they chomp down all the, the green and then the rest is left to the landscapers. So when you go out to jobs and it seems like with the goats, it's environmentally safe and most of the people that call you, you can, can you tell me they don't, you would tell me they don't like to use pesticides and etc. This is all natural? It's all eco-friendly and um, so what we do is we have them come out here 
Um, I'm sorry, I don't clean up their poo poo. They're just little pellets, and I figure it's free fertilizer. So you know, it goes through my brain that this is so eco-friendly, having the goats in your yard or in this area. Now, she or him That's are going snuggles. this way. Snuggles, they have names. All right, so I want to know the names. This is Snuggles. Okay. I got triplets, and so there's Snuggles, Sweetie, and Nibbles, because Nibbles doesn't stop nibbling. And now where's this Nibbles? One. Is he down there with the horns? Yeah. I no, knew it! No, 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 not with the horns. That's Maddie. Okay, Maddie with the horns. Yeah. So, to follow up on the question is eco-friendly, they seem to really do like such a good job and... They do. I mean, they're, they're hungry. I mean, we always make sure that they're fed and they have all their nutrients, but at nighttime we give them clean water because they're eating all day and if they eat more than five or six hours, they're gonna get bloated bellies and I get bloated vet bills. So <laughs> um, I, I, I limit them to the amount of time and I stay with them. I don't just drop them off and leave them because if one goat gets out, they all get out. And that you were saying is if they see something interesting, they could actually go over the fence. Yeah. So it seems like when they're out here, do they pick and choose like this one here is by himself. Some goats like certain things or they just like to be by themselves because no. Charlene they are really clear in the area. I mean we've been talking here not that long and they're really clear in the area and it seems like like people they're almost like breaking up into their own little area like they're taking their little lunch box and they're going in the corner and they're just eating by themselves. Yeah well basically it's like I have four different breeds so my Nubian Climbs trees. I mean, he stands up. He's seven feet tall. I saw that. He was taking the the uh, the was it the oak leaves off right away. And um, my alpine, she stands up about six feet tall. So she looks like a deer. So take a look at that. That's Adeline. Now right take there. a look at Adeline over there. <laughs> now Adeline seems to be the climber. That. Oh, and we got another one with the leaves, and. It's basically, what, what are they, they're, they're eating mostly leaves on the ground there. They're eating all the invasives. So they're going to leave this as like a skeleton by the time they're done. This is only their second day. So. Unbelievable. Um, and they've done quite a bit. Now, what do goats love when they go out to like an area like this, what's the first thing that they love? Right away it looked like they loved the day lilies. Oh, they were just so hungry they took whatever came right out. They can't eat day lilies. Oh, okay. That's golden rod. No, their favorite is raspberries. Oh, geez, of course. Who doesn't? <laughs> at, at what, $9.99 a pound? Why, not, why can't you get them for free over here? Yeah. Oh, I see that. Wow. So and you, the, olive, uh, the olive leaves or something, they're down so, there. So you were talking about vet bills. Is it a lot of maintenance and a lot of care? I'm, I can tell by talking to you there's a lot of love by now and also early this morning that you really, really care for these goats. Is there a lot of work to, to keep them going Absolutely. to make this a, a job? Absolutely. And the thing is, is that some people think, oh, you know, I shouldn't charge them, you know, a certain amount because it's low overhead. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's absolutely not. There's Phoenix. There's my Nubian. Um, no, I mean, you have to you have to actually become your own vet. And you need to know how to deworm them. You have to have um, Nutri-Drench in case they get anything that, you know, like if they get uh, Coccidia. You have to know how to administer needles, which I graduated high school as a medical assistant, so I know. Oh, wow. That. Um, you know, you got to have the red blood cells. You, you've got to have um, penicillin and every. And there's so many medications. I have like a whole little drugstore for them. Unbelievable. And so now, not to cut you off, it seems like doing all the work, pulling it down, and then cheating getting the lower branches yeah. so eventually will they take the actual branch or for now they're just going to take the they'll leaves take off take it down and you know what i'll do is i'll just come out with my hedge trimmer and i'll just cut down some stuff so they can just stop it because hmm. i have chainsaws and hedge trimmers in the truck wow so to go into the the the, the 
to taking care of them again. So it, it is a lot of work. It is, but it's worth it to me. I mean, they're my babies. <laughs> I love that. So, um, so Phoenix is beside me. So I'm gonna ask again. Oh, you can hear the crunching. Oh, they sound like crackers. When they're done, how do they live? How do they eat at home? Where do they stay? Do they sleep in the house? Do they walk in the house? He is really eating a lot too. What's the, the characteristics of these goats? What are they all about? I mean, you could go back to the fact that actually it was sheep, not goats, but same, same idea being on a golf course right now. Um, found out a little known fact yesterday that basically golf courses out in Scotland were actually um, the, the sheep herders and they were just hitting rocks and what they did was they just ended up going, the, the sheep would dig these sand pits so they could have shelter and that's how golf ended up coming about and then I guess wow some people they used to do 22 holes some people did 15 some people did 18 so what they figured is I guess they <laughs> this is funny um, it is funny because I'm getting hungry don't you, mind if I have a snack if you go on the golf course and you have a shot I'm listening by the way whiskey, okay? yeah by the 18th hole, hey wait hold on this is a good one Oh, this is a good one. So this is. It used to be on the, oh God! Um, this is this is like. Lawn on the White House oh, World War so good, I, so good. Because um, all the men were at the war, so they used to have the sheep and goats go out there and just jump down the White House lawn. So basically, golf courses started in Scotland because the sheep were digging trenches and holes and make sand. Yeah. Wow. And then they would just put around um, blocks. Now, at my age, I could never do this. <laughs> Eat, have the paws up there, and really go to town. I don't know if you can zoom in and if you can listen, but listen to the chomping, because we've been talking a lot. Mm, that is good. That's good. You know what I had last night? I had some unbelievable cheese and crackers. And I know you guys can't eat it, but you know something? This is much better because you know why? It's on the good earth. There's nothing like a nice cheese and cracker at night though. But that's me. So go ahead. So, no, I mean, on my website, it's uh, www.chompersgoatscaping.com. Um, it, there's a, a lot of known facts about how many breeds there are and all different parts of history. I didn't get it all because I didn't know about the golf course thing until yesterday. One of the uh, groundskeepers had told me so. So in the beginning you were saying you're a realtor and you love to be in outdoors. Do you see yourself in the future getting hundreds of goats, me working for you, sitting down and just going, Come on guys, we gotta do acres and acres and acres more. In an ideal world, probably yes, but <laughs> I, you know, I don't have the room. I built out the third bay of my garage, had a local um, contractor do it for me into two stalls to fit everybody, because I, I always started with four, but I ended up with all these guys. And um, so, I get them into into their stalls off the off the trailer at home, and then they just run to the to their pen. I have two dog pens. I have three mini Australian shepherds, and um, so they herd them in if I need them to. Um, and they just go right in their pen. They it looks like a daycare more than a than a goat pen because I got like a step two house in there, I got a diving board, I got tires that they can climb on, cinder blocks, you name it, I've got it back there for them. And these are your children? They are. Unbelievable. This is, this is amazing. You know, where else, Charlene, can you have a job that you show up, and this is a job for you, it's beautiful out, got a little chilly earlier in the morning, and now the sun is out, 
and it just feels so good. And we're in New England with you, with your goats. And they're working, if you call this work. You know, at my age, I feel like, you know, I don't want to spend my life miserable. I want to be stress-free as much as I can. Charlene, okay, hold on. I will pull the branch. I saw you. Did you see him? I got it. Okay, <laughs> that's how you Charlene, I got to cut you off for one second. I got to get on to Maddie because this I'm not even doing my job. I'm over here talking to you. Maddie, I'm not scaring you. I got to unleash you here because ooh, this is rough terrain. This is goat terrain. I got to release because obviously you weren't able to get over to your quarter. All right, Maddie. Go down there and clear that area because that's a mess down there. Oh, you're doing a good job down there. You guys are doing a good job up there. Uh, you know something? I haven't done anything all day long. I'm drunk. They actually got this whole area like a little nice passageway down here. I don't know if you can zoom in and do in here. Look at how much work they've done. This is really, really kind of cool. Good job, guys. Wow. I'm bringing you to my backyard. Okay, so this has been so different for me. A gardening show with goats. This is really, really amazing. This is gonna be a good show. You know why? Because it's so unique. I never, ever thought in, in my mind the imagination that you can make goats do this. And what else is out there? So, Charlene, this was really fun for me. I, I, I really, really mean that. And I say that, I can't even describe the words that come into my mouth, but this was fun. And we worked, but we focused on the goats, but you had your crew as well too. Can you tell people how and where and what you do? Because you can do it in people's yards and business and etc. with your crew. Charlene. This is deep in my heart. I had some really, really fun. And I love animals as much as Christine, but this is fun. Yeah, it is fun. I, I, I like to enjoy my days. I like to enjoy my days. I mean, these guys, even though they are a lot of work, they make me happy. I do residential and commercial. But the thing is, is that what it comes down to is that I just have to enjoy my life and it, it you know, it depends when I have to walk the land to make sure that there's no poison ivy, I mean, well, there's no, I shouldn't say poison ivy, but there's no invasive plants that would actually be poisonous to them, like pokeweed and certain other things that are on my website, again, www.chompersgoatscaping.com. Um, you can always call me, 978-512-2135, and... I just enjoy it. I only work half the year though, which really stinks, but we live in New England, so it is what it is. So Charlene, you got to introduce your crew because they had a lot to do today. They had to help you with the uh, the fencing. They had to help me. The goats got a hold of me and they were pulling me and they had to open the fence. You only seen what you saw on camera. It was amazing. And can you let me know more and let everybody know more about and, and introduce them because they were great today in the beautiful sun. Well, this is Bob and he's also a professional Santa. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's almost that time. This is what it, I do in the off season. It, Love it. And now how can they reach out to you? Uh, my phone number. <laughs> okay. What is but they can number? reach it out. They can reach it now. They, can they reach out and call you by phone or through Charlene? Both. And how do they get in touch with you? Well, most of it's word of mouth. Okay. Give him your phone number. 978-425-5018. And you Santa. are a professional Santa Claus. A professional Claus. Santa for over 50 years now. I didn't know that. And I was working youth all day. I was working with Santa with goats. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Sarah. Hello. And she has her own farm, chicken farm. And she also plants a lot of plants, uh, sunflowers and things like that. Why don't you tell them about your farm? Yep. I own uh, Forever Farm in Pepperell, Massachusetts, and um, 
Yep, we have 40 plus chickens. We sell their eggs. Um, I grow flowers for cut flowers for bouquets um, and grow organic vegetables and all kinds of stuff like that. I have a self-serve farm stand on our property. So, um, yeah, well, I, on this she, she called me up and needed some help and when the kids are at school they come and do this and I have fun. I love hanging out with the goats and and it most certainly showed working with you <laughs> that I really had a really good time today and I've done a lot of shows but this one here was really fun because not only were the open air but working with a crew that I had no idea what kind of crew I was gonna find and I found goats well everybody thank you so much for tuning in I'm gonna show you some of the goats really thank you so much guys and i am so glad that i met you charlotte uh, thank charlotte. you for coming out look at this it's chompers and yeah it says it in the name goats santa and a farm girl all <laughs> in charlene all in a group thank you very much and enjoy the great great gardens that we have in new england be good all